Hi guys, I'd like to uh, introduce you to these, these little immortal everlasting small pop-ups, the 10 millis. And uh, there's a bit of a story to these actually. Uh, I weren't so sure, because I've always made my own hook baits, about whether a small sort of plastic boilie would be suitable. So we had a go and I was testing them and very soon found that they, they were very good. And uh, not just saying that, they are excellent. There's uh, various colours that we do, you know, you've got a, so you can have a mix pack like that. These are unflavoured, by the way. And then this is my particular favourite. There's some flavoured ones. Uh, this is particular flavours of caramel one in the white baits. And there's a bit of a story to these, actually. Uh, me and my sons were fishing at Angler's Paradise and uh, we were fishing the specimen lake there, which hasn't got many fishing, really. And they're up to about 34 pound. And my eldest son was only, I don't know, 12, 13, and he'd not caught a 20 pound carp before. So I'd been trying these and having quite a few fish. So I got him on them and he had his first 20, which was 25 pound common one day. The following day he had his first 30, which was one of them heavy, heavily scaled sort of uh, beautiful fish that Zig has down there, you know, with the uh, massive sort of apple slice scales. So. He was quite chuffed to say the least because he'd had you know his first 20 and 30 as a fairly young kid anyway it became apparent that when we used boilies or tried to use real food we were struggling a little bit anyway word went around that we were catching on these and i'm not secretive or anything so some of the some of the lads who were fishing the main lake were struggling uh, it was very cold so sort of, you know early uh sort of march and I gave all the guys that were blanking basically some of these and to a man they all caught fish and not just one fish, they, they caught several fish. So it, I don't know why, I think it was because the water's like tomato soup and it's heavily coloured and maybe it was the flavour and the colour combination and the fact that they stay consistently buoyant. They don't actually take in water and become semi-buoyant, they, they're there presenting the rig perfect every time. So they're well worth considering. You know, there's various uses for them. You can top baits with them, um, uh, but I use them by themselves and find them perfectly good and acceptable. So, uh, I'll just show you a few rigs that you might want to consider. You can use them like that, you know, with a with a normal fish meal <coughs> or boiler of your choice. I tend to use them like that as a little visual thing in case the fish are high in the water. You know, you might have a perfectly good fish meal bait or whatever you're using that's not visual and if the fish are higher up in the water moving past they might, could easily miss it so it's always a good idea to have a visual bait on the top to to draw attention down to the bottom where you're fishing so that's one nice little way of doing it and as an aside i suppose a lot of people use corn for that but this is an alternative and uh, there we go and it adds an element of buoyancy to the rig as well this is what i was catching them down at uh, angler's paradise and a lot of other waters i might add uh, two together, both pop-ups, so I had to use a shot in it, and uh, I, I was using a PVA bag with a few pellets in, and uh, chop baits, and a little bit of uh, corn, and hemp that was covered in salt so it didn't melt the PVA, and that's all I was using with this, and uh, worked fantastic, so give it a go, highly recommend it. 